Welcome to our deep dive into the do until in Power Automate. In this session, we will explore how to set up this loop and why it's like the wait for it of automation. So sit tight as we see how we can loop our way to success. For any power platform related support, please contact us via email at info at voxes.com or reach out to us on WhatsApp or call us at this number. All right, let's talk about the do until loop. It's essential power automates version of are we there yet? It keeps checking if the condition is met, repeating task until it's finally satisfied. Imagine it's like checking the status of your pizza order until it says out for delivery. So what is do until loop? A control action in Power Automate that repeats action until a satisfied condition is met. It's useful for automating tasks that need to continue until a particular outcome is achieved. Example means there are multiple examples. It is just like checking a process status until it reaches completion, right? Why use do until loop? So it automates tasks that have uncertain end conditions. It also helps in hel handling long running processes by waiting until a result is achieved. It reduces the need for manual intervention and repetitive checks. So it's like waiting for your friend who always says they are five minutes away, but in automation. Plus, it's free us from constant checking. Let's quickly create a Power Automate flow. Then we will talk about the count and timeout properties. So I have already created a SharePoint list with title, customer name, customer email address, delivery address, order status, and order status is a choice. Let me just so called order status is choice where uh, I have placed two choices placed and out for delivery. I have created a power automate flow. The flow triggers when an order is created in our order information SharePoint list. So I have added here SharePoint address, site address and list name order information. Our flow will keep checking the order status in every 30 seconds until it's become out for delivery. Once the status is updated, what we are going to do, we are going to send an email notification to the customer that your order is out for delivery. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add An action and I'm going to add in variable here. I'm going to initialize the variable and I'm going to name it as out for delivery and similarly initialize variable is out for delivery and the value is going to be false. Now let's add do until condition. Just click on add action, control and do until. Okay. Now what we are going to add here, just click on formulas, dynamic content and as out for delivery is equal to true. Click on functions and then true. Up, oh, sorry, true, true. And okay. Now let's talk about the count and timeout property. So count limits the maximum number of iterations for the loop. Example, setting count to 10 ensure the loop stops after 10 attempts and timeout limits the maximum duration for the loop to run. Example, using PT1H sets a timeout of one hour. 
सो टाइम आर्ट प्रॉपर्टी एग्जाम्पल पी टी वन एच स्टॉप द लूप आफ्टर वन आवर पी टी थर्टी एम इट मीन्स थर्टी मिनट्स स्टॉप द लूप आफ्टर थर्टी मिनट्स पी वन डी अलाउज द लूप टू रन फॉर अ फुल डे पी टी वन जीरो एस इट मीन्स टेन सेकेंड्स फॉर अ क्विक चेक स्टॉप आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड्स लेट्स कम बैक टू अर डू अंटिल पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो we have already set here loop until is out for delivery is equal to true and count is 60 time out is pt 1h it means for 1 hour and 60 times first of all i am going to add one more action here and it is going to be delay delay of 30 seconds 30 and seconds right okay and again i am going to add one more action here and it is going to be get item share on list right get item and i am going to get the same record inside the do until loop so that we can check if the status has changed or not so our site address is works step and list name is order information and id is id is going to come from dynamic content when an item is created and it is going to be <coughs> id <coughs> now i am going to add one more action here and which is going to be condition and now the condition what i am going to do here select dynamic content and status right and order status value and if order status value is equal to out for delivery is equal to out for delivery okay and then what i am what what i am going to do if order status is equal to out for delivery then i am going to set variable set variable and we have is out for delivery variable created and we are going to set it true correct okay, right? i'm going to save draft inside the condition i am going to add one more action if the value is equal to status value is equal to out for delivery we are going to send an email to the customer right send an email send an email v2 and click on action 2 and i am going to so to advance mode and using the effects formulas i am going to get the dynamic content email and get an email get items uh, customer email add here and subject is going to be your order is Uh, for delivery right hi customer name thanks so we have added customer email address in two subject we have added your order is out for delivery and we have created a custom body now i am going to save and publish this power automate flow let's save draft and publish i have already created few sharepoint records so you can see some 
runs in the history of this power automate flow now let's create a record in our order information sharepoint list just click on new item and click on title and it is going to be order 001 and customer name is going to be james taylor and customer email i am going to take our email address from here and i'm going to paste it here so that we receive the email right and delivery address is going to be 33 victoria lane birmingham right now i'm going to and the order status is going to be placed right now click on save and our power automate flow will trigger click on back and see the history of power automate flow right so this one ran 4 minute ago let's refresh the power automate flow and You can see our power automate flow is running right it is keep running just click on our run okay 29 seconds ago and see so what's actually happening inside the do until loop so it's checking it's it's getting the item from the sharepoint list list and then it's checking the status of the order whether the status is equal to outward delivery or not if it is not then again after 30 seconds it is getting the same record it's checking the status and if status is not equal to outward delivery again doing the same thing if the status is equal to outward delivery it will send an uh, email to the customer and the do until loop will satisfy the condition right so now it's keep running if you see here it's keep running because the condition is not satisfied and if you see it's keep running our power automate flow is running from last 1 minute and 42 seconds so let's go back to our sharepoint list and what we can do here just click on the order status and click on out for delivery okay now we have changed the status to out for delivery so what will happen now if you see here our power automate flow is running right and yep now we can see our power automate flow succeeded here and we should receive an email this is my email address and if you see here your order is out for delivery hi james taylor your order is out for delivery here are some tips and best practices first always set the clear exit condition trust me you don't want a loop that never ends it's like a song that stuck on repeat keep an eye on performance too as looping too much can slow things down if needed add counters or delay let's keep your loop in check not like that friend who just needs one more minute but takes an hour Thank you so much for sticking around. Now you are all set to create a flow with do until loop. Remember, if you are ever feeling loopy about loops, reach out to us at voxes.com or info at voxes.com. Happy automating and may all your loops have happy endings. Thank you so much for watching this video.